We saw the Chinese dragon was eliminated by reason of not showing. He decided was, to stay home. It was dead before it even began, man. It was came in here. Yeah. Something wrong with it. Well, it's a shame. But Rain will advance to the round of 16. Coming off of a GSL championship as well as a Home Story Cup win, the guy is on fire right now. And He's doing I, really well. I guess he just gets a little bit more rest time, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty important, too. I think he might be going to DreamHack next. I'm not sure which tournament he's See, going like to. See, Dreamhack or Shenzhen, but he's going to one of them. And so he's, he's got a busy schedule, so this is actually perfect for him. Like, yeah. he actually just gets a free trip to the, to the next round here and takes the week off. Exactly. So that's really, really nice for him. Uh, again, as we said before, really a bit of a shame to Ming couldn't show up. Maybe he'll get invited next time when we're not uh, in the midst of a bit of a crisis, if you will, about the, uh, the outbreak of MERS. Korean fangirls, man, they don't like him talking to Snoop. Yeah, he's a handsome little devil, man. They're not going to let him leave ever. He's like, well, you know, um, I am seeing a few people right now, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, I could get your cacao talk. Wow. <laughs> uh, well. um, he's, but, um, he's, no. <laughs> he's, he's, he's surrounded by them down there, man. He's stuck. He's like, yeah. I had to retreat back into the corner. <laughs> they're, they're after him. He's doing fantastic. Yeah, man. You know, he, he might have lost the match, but he's going to win the war yeah. here in Korea. He's going to do well for himself well, over the next week. I'll be here a few days. He's going to be here for a week before he goes to Shenzhen. Have you ever been to China? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, life. Three-time GSL champion. They can't even fit. Like, every other player we have in this list has results from, like, you know, 2014, 2013. Life has so many wins in 2015 that, like, you, oh, that's all you see. But you can see his results in this tournament. He ended up losing to Dream in Season 1 in that epic, epic best of seven. Yeah. Didn't do so well in Season 2 yeah. either. He's been having trouble, especially against Terran, but it's it hasn't been the Terran of the caliber of Alive. It's been Dream, it's been the higher ups, it's been Maru. He lost to Maru in his last Pro League match. You know, he, he's having these troubles there. But I don't, I, I find it hard to believe that Alive would come into this with an advantage. I think Alive, he hasn't really done anything in a long time. He's, his most recent results you can see is he lost in the round of 48 of Code A last year and made it to the round of eight uh, in WCS one time. That's it. Uh, you know, in season one, he ended up getting knocked out very early as well. Season two, I can't even remember what he did, to be totally frank. He's got a few pearly games under his belt. Well, this guy is definitely not the Alive that we saw in, like, 2012. Uh, this is not the Alive who was, you know, winning, like, IPLs and stuff. It's been uh, a long time since then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was consistently getting top places at MLGs as well. He was considered one of the best TBT players in the world, along with, uh, you know, Rain, Boxer, like all those players back then, really good at TBT, but the bands here, Alive bands Bonnie, and Alive bands Deadwing does not want to play against him on that big map. Interesting, he doesn't want to play Deadwing. I, I would have thought he gets rid of something else like Expedition Lost, a very good Zerg map, but I, I guess he'll stick with it. It looks like Alive did get that first map pick. He's going to pick Dakota, then Iron Fortress, and then that Cactus Valley is the last map. Life preferring that Expedition Lost and Echo. Yeah. Uh, he's probably pretty happy Expedition Lost not get banned here. and um, Probably a bit of surprise, but maybe we do see Alive has a build on this map. And we have seen some pretty gimmicky stuff happen. Puts T-Shake in the right place, it covers the ramp it's from the main to the natural, and from there you've got a pretty powerful push going on. Well, already it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for Game 1. Alive going to have a tough time here. Alive known for weird strategies. Hellion, Marauder, Hellbat rushes. Big double drops of Hellbats, all sorts of plays like that. Life known to play a bit greedy in the matchup, so see if Life can catch him off guard or if Life is just going to play as safe as possible, knowing that in the mid game, in the late game, he is absolutely the better player mechanically. Map is loading up right now, ladies and gentlemen. It is Coda for game number one and our second and final ZBT of the night. Let's jump into it right here, right now. My name is Wolf. With me is Moonlade. It's time for Life versus Alive. Left in blue, life for KT. 
slightly slumping, but I'm not convinced. Still got those three championships. Down here in the bottom right. Alive for Spenny. Player that has not had much success in these individual leagues or in pro league. Yeah, he's definitely fallen off quite a bit. He's one of these TSL legacy players, though. He's one of these original TSL players who's still around today. Uh, it was originally on TSL, then ended up moving into Fnatic for a time and Evil Geniuses. Uh, and then it was on MVP and now finds his home on Spender. So he's seen a lot of teams. He's actually traveled around the world. He's gone to many overseas events. He's uh, an IPL, I think it's IPL 4 that he won, a uh, champion. So, yeah, a long time ago. I mean, this guy has won tournaments. He has seen the world. Um, but at this point in time, he's definitely not what he used to be. No, no, he certainly is not. He's far from it, unfortunately. He was always one of these players that has his own idea about the game as well. I wouldn't call him a gimmicky player, but he, he does have his... Uh, he does have his builds, for sure, and, and I'm interested to see what he's got today. It's very technical. Yeah, he's got some, some nice, like, two-based sort of times as well. We have seen recently with, uh, you know, plus one bio and a uh, you know, decent amount of bio coming out in the map. Trying to force something out here. Life? He's going to hatch first. Let's see when he gets his gas. It'd be interesting to see if he went gasless to start things off. Just get some extra queens out. Go for creep spread over uh, Zergling speed. And that might actually be the choice here. Yeah. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> There's a gas coming down. A little bit later. Yeah. Reaper on the way. I don't think Alive will make two Reapers because it will slow down his factory timing quite a bit. And like you said before, uh, he's definitely the type of guy who really likes to do two base timings. And the later his factory is, the later those timings are going to be. Yeah. Looks like it'll just be one. Yeah. It, not a bad map for it, you know, it does have that back door into the main. Can't get a good scout off, can do a little bit of harassment. Just going to Hellions from there. Yep, reactor coming up. The map obviously being a two-player map, Life has seen everything, sees the CC timing. See this first Reaper and deal with it very easily. Just gonna have to micro his drones for just a second here, and well, I guess just some of his wings at this point, since they come out right in time. Wait for those two queens to pop out. Oop, Ooh, he's a lane. Okay. Yeah, they're kind of designed to die. Like they, it's completely acceptable they die as long as the drones don't. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of damage actually with a reaper. More than I expected. He might get a fourth kill here. Yeah, pretty decent reaper uh, control so far. Looks at a four lings. Now the queens are out there and it's not going to find any more damage. Oh wow! Almost one more ling. Not quite. Uh, second escape path here you can retreat from. But four kills on a Reaper is quite nice for a life in the start here. No drones, but still. Yeah, um, Force them to make more links instead of drones. Here comes that star port. No third CC. Yeah, factory not heading towards making a tech lab either. Yeah, it's definitely going to be four Marines deny any scouting into that reactor Hellion and most likely going to be well, actually, let's see. We are actually seeing Marines being made again. We could actually see a uh, medivac and an armory go down if he yeah. wants to go that sort of route. Alive loves to do builds like this. Um, you know, we saw him do it against Lucera in Pro League, like, in round two, I think it was, a long time ago. The last time we really saw him in a televised match that I can think of in this matchup. Um, he likes to do Hellbat timings. He likes to do Hellbat uh, Marauder. He likes to do Hellion Marauder. Uh, a lot of different variations of that. And he's done this since... You know, really, Wings of Liberty was very aggressive, oftentimes a two-base player, and that was the, the thing to do as a Terran back then, especially versus Zerg. Yeah, he loves his timings more than anything else. Uh, his macro play, not always uh, the best, not what he's known for. Yeah, he, he, he ain't no innovation. He wants to do his damage early on and keep that momentum going. He doesn't want the game to go too long either. And we actually might see the similar sort of style as we saw last time with innovation, just Hellions and Marines. We don't see a, an armory at all on the map. Yeah. This seems to be that way. It's a bit strange, but, uh, you know, a marine drop can do a lot of damage, especially if there's no baneling nest. And Early just started, actually. That's two, a big problem. Two wings on the map right now as well. He's not making any more. He just made three drones. This could do some serious damage, and Ooh, he could just elevator those man. hellions in right behind. Yeah. We're going to see exactly that, and life has no vision. This could do a lot of damage. He's queens way out of position. Yeah, four queens would be the perfect sort of counter to this, or at least uh, 
help out a lot in defending the main, but this main is completely exposed. He's going to lose so many Harvesters here. Oh, man. Uh, Spore Crawlers definitely go down, which means the Banshees are going to be able to do much more once they're finished and headed across the map. Oh, so many drones going down. 13 so far, 14. That Kills a queen. critical damage. And let's see what he decides to do with these Hellions. Just going to run them into the corner here to try to support with those Marines. Even the Reaper, you know, in this mix as well, doing some serious damage. The Medivac does get targeted down, so it looks like he's just going to try to target the Queens with the most energy here. But yeah. not going to get much done at this point. But the damage is done, and the Banshee follow-up is coming. Yeah, it's certainly done at this point. That is critical damage. You cannot afford to lose that many drones. And even look at the supply at this point. Down nine supply at this point of the game. Not even nine minutes in, and now a quick Banshee coming. He is not prepared at all for this. He lost that Spore on the main base as well. But no detection whatsoever. He has so many Lings because he was panicking about that a little bit, but they can't do much damage on their own. They're not going to help against the Banshee. There's a tight wall at the main base with a bunker. So he can't even really like make them into Banelings and counterattack. That would be so risky and desperate. Yeah, it, it really is a, ho a kind of a hopeless situation. And this Click Banshee's coming in now to the last main base. Counterattack does nothing. He has no Spore. It was targeted down earlier. He forgot to remake it. And that might just be game. I mean, what is he going to hope to do without Spores? He's going to lose five more drones. Now in the natural, he does have a spore, but Alive can just sit here on the edge where it's safe. Take off a few drones and go back into the main base. So much lost mining time in the main. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's eight drones down. That is way too much damage again. Third base isn't even mining for Alive at this point. He's just playing catch up, trying to re-drone the main. And while that's all happening, third CC is finishing up. The production is up and running for Alive. Bit late on the upgrades, but I think he can afford that when he's this far ahead in economy. Yeah. That's really the only thing he's behind in at this point. It's already starting them now. And second Banshee is going to come. Try to pick off these gas drones, it looks like. Anything he can find. The lair just starting, as mentioned, and no overseers. He's just going to ping pong between the bases. Any target he can find that's outside of range of a spore crawl, he's going to kill it. Just on the edge here, you know. If he takes a little bit of queen damage, that's okay, as long as he doesn't hit any, he doesn't get hit by any of the spore cannons. And uh, already three kills on this Banshee. Yeah, just keeps it going. And life just constantly making drones in a state of recovery. Very stressful, stressful game one. A pretty unexpected game one as well for life, I have to say. Really impressive uh, Banshee micro from Alive. He's fantastic at using them. Yeah. A bit of a panic baneling that's there, I guess, because if you press B twice really quick, you can make that um, to save that drone. Saves it with a, ban a baneling nest cancel nonetheless. Well, there's a ton of units on the way. Look at the army supply 46 to 17 with a bio force of Stim and Medivacs, as well as Banshees are still alive. They could actually come participate in the fight, perhaps, if they can get out of the, the corner they're in. Hellbats as well. I forgot to mention six of them. Oh, yeah, this is a big problem. Tons of Marauders. Great mm -hmm. follow up here. We don't currently see any bailings on the map. The only Lings are going across the map into this bio army. Uh, if life gets caught out, if he doesn't have bailings in time, he could just simply lose the game uh, then and there. Yeah, he doesn't have bailing speed yet either. I mean, it's a long way away, not even a fourth of the way done yet. Scan comes up and eliminate these tumors. Continue to push this forward. Life's creep spread is really good. It's going to buy him some time. Will it buy enough time to get these eight bailings? It's going to be close. A lot of energy to transfuse on these queens. Bailing's not ready yet. Not ready. Good split will do the job as well. They are slow beans after all. Yep. Even picking some units up in the medevac to avoid that extra splash damage. Now we can just push through and win the game. GG. Moonblade alive takes game one. Yeah. Live just felt ready for that Hellion uh, Marine drop to the main base, completely undetected, until it was shooting drain. And that's all it takes to lose the game. Yeah. Well. We're seeing Banshees do a lot of damage today in these TVZs. Oh yeah, way too much damage. And to think they're getting buffed in Legacy of the Void. I know. I don't even want to think about it. It's a scary thing. Well, the idea here is, I mean, he had a Spore up, but it got killed by the drop. He didn't see that drop. That was the big issue. He lost a ton to the drop before he, the Banshees even came in. He lost a Spore and never remade it. If he remade that Spore, the Banshees still would have done damage, but not insane damage, not like out of control damage. Yeah, certainly not. It did a little bit of damage, but uh, life is already insanely behind when you lose 13 drones that early. To lose another 8, then constantly lose a, lose a few more every time a Banshee comes in, uh, there's really no way you can